Okay, pilots. I got an unboxing to do. Yes, that's right. But I just want to show you this little project I got going on for my one tenth scale Jeep. This is kind of like a, this is a 30 caliber. Uh oh, got ammo. 30 caliber. And I got to cut a little slit in it there. I don't know if you can see the little slot there where you, your ammo is fed in. Okay. And I'll stick my, the end of my ammo belt in it. I'll have that in my Jeep. But this mount, you'll see here, you can turn it this way. You can go up and down with it after I put the pin in it. See? But that just fits down. I won't really pull it out right now because all this is is a, a sparrow missile that I cut. I cut it off, you know, cut the top of it off. And that's my little 30 caliber I'm going to be putting in my one tenth scale jeep and now i'm dibble dabbing in a little something different i had one of my <clears throat> youtube watchers i don't know if he's subscribed or not but after i made my recent tour of the hangar video he said, where's the train? Where is the train? So I got to thinking about that. Yeah, you know me. That's all you got to do is just give me an idea. <laughs> so I've actually ordered this, which is just the engine in the coal car. But it is a G scale or G gauge train. And I wanted to see, I'm going to cut it this way. I wanted to see how close of a scale it is to my 135th scale static models of tanks, guns. Uh oh, I'm going to break it. And, well, not really airplanes, but my airplanes is 148 scale. But on my tanks and my little tank scene there, war scene there is, is 135th scale. So I would like to have maybe a train running through my little scene there. You know how it is, you get little ideas or you think about things when you're sitting there doing nothing, waiting on something to get here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, when you buy stuff off of eBay, you, you're taking a gamble. I mean, uh, that's all there is to it. I can't tell you nothing different. All I can tell you is, is to read the description very carefully. If you have any questions, contact the seller. All you gotta do is push the button there. You'll be right in contact with them. Ask them anything you want to. If they lie to you, well, that's just, that's just the way they are. But most of the time, They'll, they'll tell you the truth, and if he's damaged, they'll tell you. Usually in the description, they'll tell you what damage might be to the product. I don't. But this is a used engine and coal car. And as far as the size of this package here, it's looking pretty good as far as scale size to my tanks. Now this one is actually battery operated, okay? Now you can get different kind. I'm looking to see, make sure there's nothing else laying in here, no pieces laying in the park. You can get that, this kind, which you just put six, I think it's six C size batteries in the coal car, and then it plugs into the engine. Or you can get just where your track is electrified. Now, this one is battery operated. I wanted to get this first and see if, what the size looked like. But I've got another one that I'm looking at that's the same scale, same gauge, G gauge. 
but it's a little bit more of a you know, nicer train. It's electric, the track's electrified. So, you know, you just kind of don't want to just start throwing money into something before you kind of check it out. You know what I mean? Especially what I'm trying to do. Now, you can go get an O gauge, an N gauge, you know, if you know that that's what you want and everything. We've got a friend of ours on our chat shows, Bledsoe. Trains and planes. And man, he gets some nice ones. Boy, I mean, they beautiful trains. But they're a different scale than what this is. They're smaller. I'm not really sure what scale they are. Let's see if we can cut this down this way. Yeah, that was it. I'm getting somewhere now. Be careful now, this thing ain't nothing but plastic. This ain't like a old Lionel train that's made out of metal. I had a Lionel train years ago when I was a kid. Dad and mom got it for us for Christmas. We got have never sold that train. Oh my goodness, look here. See there? Sometimes you just He's just gonna take a gamble. I didn't see that in the photograph. I don't know what more that is. At least it's coming off. Looks like just kind of white. It don't look like mold, but something's got on it. Yep, something's got on it there. Just kind of discolorated chrome. That's not a good shape, but I can tell you right now, you know, $25, you know. You don't, you don't know. That seems to be working good there. A lot of times this is broke. Don't work right. This wheel will be broke. The hook will be broke. Something, something will be broke on it. But that it looks like all of us there. Got a little bit of detail inside there. But this is a new bright train engine. Name brand is New Bright. Here's our on and off switch here. You turn it, okay. No bell. But that's looking pretty good as far as scale to what I was looking for. And that's all I was really looking for with this train, with this engine. So let's see if any wires is missing. And I might even have power. I'm gonna get a couple of flat cars and I'm gonna get the caboose of course you know because I've got another box over here I get in the box not don't have any track right now. I got a couple pieces over there that I got just, just you know, set it on for, for, for the, to look at, you know, and scale it out. But, you know, you get a train set, you'll have a track kind of lit. old coal car and all, all these wheels is plastic like I said it's, it's not really the the more expensive trains but as long as you've got your hooks 
Like you got good hooks. All your axles and wheels are with it. <laughs> and the thing don't really look in too bad a shape. I mean, I got a little piece right here that's broke, but that's all right. And like I said, this wasn't, this is not really gonna be the main train, but I do see there's the lead. Let's see if it plugs into this train. <laughs> yep, that's the same kind of plug. Yep, yep. It plugs into the back back here. All right, let's see here. Getting it open. Push to open. There we go. Oh, good. The batteries don't look corroded or the battery connections are good and clean. That's a good sign. But I've got to go get some batteries. I don't have any C-size. I haven't had C-size in years. It looks like everything's in good shape. Just kind of needs cleaning. Yep, moves me like this, just like a canopy does most of the time. Locks in, so that works. Okay, all right, there's our engine and coal car. Look up, just like so. It works. Let's get her out of the box. Now, here we go with another box. Now, we'll look at this one. You're gonna say what in the world? That's a little bit different than what you usually see. Oh, they wrap it up good. I like it when they wrap them, they wrap them up good. Look at that. Let's see here. Where do you start? We're getting close, we're getting close, we're getting close, we're getting close, we're getting close. <laughs> Are we there? Okay, there we go. All righty. That's right. We got a green caboose. Usually the caboose is red, you know, but. I got a green one for a special reason, you know, and you'll see that reason later on in the future. But there is a nice and good condition, it says. So there's a chip on the roof. Oh, there it is. There it is. Just a little chip. Just a little chip right there on the roof. Maybe the conductor had made a mistake there and they had a crash. That'd be real. It happens. Yep. I see this is again, this is a, a new bright. And it's got plastic wheels. Okay, but they're all there and in good shape. Sometimes you'll see this screw right here be rusted where they've had them outside. That's how you can tell it when you've had, they've had stuff outside. And if you do put your tracks and train outside, it's advisable to use brass track because it won't rust you use metal track it'll rust you use plastic track it'll warp and you know be never there 
but I've got some some steel alloy tracks coming. I don't have no brass ones coming. Yep, it looks like everything's here. All the brake wheels is there, the lamp, the handrails. Looks like everything's on it, just like you said. There ain't nothing wrong with that little chip. Okay, pilots, engineers, train lovers. Let me do some cleaning and a little detail. So I'm going to repaint this silver. A little detail, and that's all. But you know me. That's why, I, that's why I get this stuff. So, till the next episode, I'm out.